Hi, and welcome to another helpful tutorial video from Ship Our Wedding, where we help you easily and affordably plan gorgeous DIY events. Today we'll show you how simple it is to set up a beautiful square ceremony canopy arch. So if you're planning a ceremony, a couple things you might notice is that there's an altar and you might need to dress it up a little bit. What better way to dress it up than with their square ceremony canopy arch? This is a canopy, it is an arch, and it is square, and we do this with drapery. So this can either be a 10 by 10 or a 7 by 10. You can adjust the size during your setup. This way it fits your space. It's large, it's beautiful, it's neutral. If you want to work in different colors on the ceremony canopy arch, you can do that with our drapery. Just feel free to pick the drop downs through the website. You can also add an up lighting on the arch, which really helps highlight your drapery colors or bring in the color of your choice. Before we go DIY, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Not on our website yet? Click the link in the video description for more rental info. What sometimes clients will do is use a square ceremony canopy arch on a stage at the reception. They'll have their ceremony in that room and they'll flip the room and next thing you know, that square ceremony canopy arch can also be used for a head table backdrop. This way you get the best of both worlds. And if you fit that in there with, let's say, a lounge furniture, a couch, a chair, now guests have a place to take photos as a photo op later in the evening. So let's go ahead and set up the square ceremony canopy arch. This is a base plate. There's a beveled middle hole the screw goes into. The screw is in the ferrule and has a beveled edge. The screw will fit into the middle hole flat, and while holding with your finger, hand tighten the ferrule into the screw. We'll only use a center hole during assembly. If it is hard to remove the ferrule, use a hammer and gently tap on both sides. Next, hold the back with your finger and then remove. End of your event, put the screw back into the ferrule so it doesn't end up missing. Lay four assembled base plates on the ground to form an evenly spaced square. Next, slide your uprights over the center base plate ferrule. If it is a tight fit, only force on the ferrule 50%, not all the way down. Afterwards, assemble your crossbar. It comes in three pieces. The two pieces with hooks should be on the outside and slide into the third piece on the first hole, making it 10 feet long. Push these pins in if you would like to make your crossbar smaller. Collapse your crossbar as much as possible. This will make your crossbar approximately seven feet long. Then you will grab your crossbar and click it into the upright. Do this by attaching four crossbars to each upright to form an evenly spaced square. Next, throw four pieces of fabric over each individual crossbar. Do this for all of the crossbars. Make sure there's even amounts of fabric on both sides. Your setup should look like this so far. Then you will pleat all fabric. Do this for all four crossbars. Make sure your two inner pieces of fabric are centered and overlapped. Then use a zip tie to keep them from moving. Do this for all overlapping fabric on the center of the crossbar. You will do this step four times since there are four crossbars. Do not raise past the sticker. Always leave a small gap between your upright and ceiling because you will have to raise the upright slightly by pushing up on the movable metal piece. Next, raise up your uprights in increments going back and forth between uprights to the desired height. After all your uprights are raised, Pull back the two closest pieces of fabric on both sides of the upright, four total, and finish by attaching the fabric to the upright with the zip tie. And finalize to hide any hardware. You will do this step four times. Your setup should look like this so far. Finalize the fabric pleats by tuffing the bottom. You will do this step four times. Here's a close-up. The square ceremony canopy can be adjusted to seven feet or 10 feet wide. Finish with uplighting in the color of your choice. Let's look at some photos of recent events and use this rental in action. Browse Ship Our Wedding for more DIY tutorial videos and get started by checking your date's availability. Together, let's help you plan the event you deserve. Hey everyone, now that you know about Square Canopy Drapery, watch more videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.